Welcome back to the Ibi Tress YouTube channel. In today's class, we are going to learn how to make this beautiful shirt with Bustier cut. Okay, it's a standard shirt with a standard color as you have seen. But it also has a Bustier cut, a standard market for your shirt, and it also has cutouts on the neckline as we have seen. It's a very simple tutorial and it's really beautiful as you can see in this video. If this is something you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so this tutorial has a lot of technique involved, okay? It's a bustier pattern, it has a shirt placket which means it's going to be buttoned down and also it has like a cutout on the neckline area, most like a keyhole kind of. So we're going to be doing all of this together. You can see that I have drafted my basic bodies up to my neckline because it's a shirt I'm going to be working with a neck width of 3 inches by 3 inches for the front and 3 inches by 1 inch for the back. Okay, it's not going to be so wide. And because it's a bust here as well, you can see I have my ham hole line here, my bust point, my under bust, and my half length. Okay, so now you can join whatever you want to your half length. It can be a trouser to form a jumpsuit or a skirt to have a dress. So I'm going to be stopping the tutorial here on the half length. So what I'm going to do first now is to create my neckline. Okay, it's like a sweetheart neckline. So you determine how deep you want this neckline to be. You can leave it on your chest line or go a little below your chest line measurement. So I think I'm just going to make the depth nine inches. Okay, that sweetheart neckline that we have there. And then to connect it, I'm going to mark my armhole measurements and then you can use half of it or wherever it is you want it to be basically. So after doing all of that now, I'll take my curve driller and then I'm going to connect to form like a sweet heart neckline. So that's going to guide me on where my dart is going to stop. So that's the neckline that we're going to be working with. So now that we have our neckline, I'll go ahead and take my dart. I'm going to use my bust span measurements, also known as the nipple to nipple. This is 8 and I'm dividing by 2 to give me 4 inches. So now the 4 inches, I'm going to mark it on the under bust and the bust point and I'll make it into a straight line. So it's going to stop where my neckline stops. That's why I created the neckline first, you can see. Then after that, I'm going to take my bust that, my waist that, I'm taking 1 inch on both sides. You can do one and quarter if the person is busty or one and half to so have more depth for your cup. So you can see now I have connected from my under bust to my waist and using the cuff side of my ruler, I'm going to link all of this to my bust point. This should not be new. It's something we have been doing. So I'll just shade out the dust so that we can see it well. So here on the upper part, I'm just going to tighten it a little bit because I'm not cutting this in form of a yoke. I'm cutting it together. So what I'm going to do now after this is to just, I'm going to take a bust that there so that it's going to tighten it more for me. Okay. So now I'm taking this that on the neckline area to avoid gaping and I'm shading it out as well. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to start taking my circumference measurements. So now my bust is 9 inches. You can see I've taken the 9 inches and I added seam allowance. The waist is 30. That is by 4 is 7.5. So I have 3 inches here already. I'm just going to skip the dart and then continue my measurements. So I have 7.5 here and I'm going to add my seam allowance as well. So I'm going to connect all of this together. And after connecting it on my bust point line here, I'm going to come down by 2 inches and then I'll link this to my bust point for my bust dart. Okay, this is going to control whatever wrinkles that you want to have on that area. So now I have connected my dart now. The next thing I is to create that cutout we were talking about. So now, like I said, it's a shirt with a little bit of cutout. So you determine how much opening that you want on the neckline area. So for me, I think around two inches 
is fine two inches there by two inches or two and a half inches excuse me somewhere here is fine so now from there i'm going to connect it to the other that leg not the first that leg here okay i'm going to connect from here to this second that leg here you can connect it in a straight form or use the cuff size of the ruler and then i have it like this okay so now it's going to be cut like this and then make sure you blend everything in and just like that so this can be cut in form of a yoke as well i just want to cut everything together so that i won't have so many seam lines you can detach it and cut this in form of a yoke as well so now all of this part that we have here is going to be opened so before i cut it out remember there is a collar that is going to go through it and this will not be there any longer so i have to take the measurement of this part before i cut out my collar so to do that i have already drafted my back bodies the back is not going to have a zipper because of course it's a button down there's going to be a placket after this center front so it's a detachable it's not i'm not cutting the placket together i'm going to sew it separately that's why i don't have the allowance here so that's why you don't need your you don't need your zipper allowance but if you want it a little bit fitted at the back at the center back you can have it opened into two and then you take a little that and connect that back to your shoulder area just like this and then you shade it as well i don't think i'm going to be opening my back at all this is a tutorial so i'll just leave it at that i just thought to show her that so now what i'm going to do now is to go ahead now and cut out this pattern so that i can measure what i will need for my collar so uh, of course my back part if you are worried about whatever shortage you are going to have here you can just measure what you have there now and then you place it here and then you trim it up or whatever it is that you feel you can do but i don't think i'm going to have any shortage there so i'm fine so i'm just trying to find a way to connect all of this together so that i can include that shortage there so now to measure my collar Okay, let me just cut this shoulder slope and then my new arm hole measurement. So to measure the color, I will just put the shoulder against each other like this. You can hold it with a tape and make sure when you are cutting on your main bodies, you had allowance for joining so that you are not going to be having any shortage you had allowance on your shoulder so i'm cutting the front neckline as well then after pitching them together like this i'm going to take my tape now and measure around the neckline and then you write it down somewhere so that when you want to cut your collar you're not going to run into any trouble okay so i'm just making sure that everything is set and once it's set now i'll measure around my neckline so here I have about 9 inches, but remember I said there's going to be a placket. I'm going to be having a 1 inch placket at the center front here, which is also part of the collar. So I'm going to make it 10 inches. So on fold now, we have 10 inches. By the time you open it out, that's going to leave you with 20 inches. So you just remember that somewhere. And after that now, you can now open this part. Okay. And like I said... I am not cutting mine as a yoke so you can see i am cutting it it's going to be part of my main body so, okay you can cut it at the yoke it's going to make it easier for you but um, i'm not doing that for this tutorial so i'm cutting out my dad as well and then i'll go ahead and close the bust down so this is the center front this is the side front and i'm going to close this bust down so i have cut out the side as well so now the next thing i'm going to do now is to close the bust that and once i close the bust that you see that this um upper part the that of this upper area is going to be opened more it's going to open up more by transferring it to that point so you can see what we have around here now so now using my masking tape i'll just go ahead and hold it down and you can see that that little cut out in front now is cut together with the main bodies so if you want it to be cut as a yoke you break it around here so these are the patterns that we have i'll go ahead and cut this now on my fabric and bring you back to show us how to put them together 
so i'm going to cut it on my fabric and like i said for my back i'm not going to have anything you can see that it is joined i only added half inch to join the shoulder together okay so this is the back and i notched where i'm going to fix my dart i did not cut any lining for the dart for the back because i'm going to use my collar to finish the neckline but for the front remember it has a sweetheart neckline it has this cut out and all of that you need to make sure to tidy all of that up so you either cut a facing or you cut a full lining so i'm just going to use my main fabric as a lining as well and then i had an allowance on the shoulder and also on the dart line so you can see what i did there so this is for the side front and this is for the center front the center front is open because of the placket that is going to go through it so now one thing that i forgot to mention while i was drafting this before you cut it out remember i said there is going to be a placket coming from here at the center front so before you cut out this part you need to measure the part you are cutting out for your placket as well okay this open part that will cut you can see the part i labeled open remember it was like this before i cut it out okay and then i added um i added allowances to okay like i said remember there was a dart here that we have cut out on this part that's why it is looking bigger than this okay so the main thing that i'm trying to explain is that there is a placket that is going to be coming on inside this center front okay so you can either measure that you can measure the whole placket before you cut out this open part but if you are adding something to the lower part we are adding a skirt or trousers and remember that is not here yet and that is also going to carry the placket so what you can do is just to measure this part that you are cutting out the center front area this is our center front okay okay and this was part of our neckline remember we cut it out from here this was supposed to be part of our neckline so this is the center front that part you have cut out from your center front you need to measure it and then keep it somewhere so that you know which parts which uh, measurement that you have taken out from your placket so that you had it when you are cutting the placket for the old dress okay so now this i have about 5.75 for my placket remember we measured the neckline as well for the collar and that was to 20 inches to 10 inches on fold so here now you are going to keep this somewhere as well as 5.75 inches for your placket because it's going to be part of the placket so i just thought to show us that so now what I'm going to do now is to go ahead and go to my sewing machine and I'll start to join these bodies together, okay? You join each side together. I'll do the same thing for both lining and main fabric. Remember, I said I'm using the same fabric as my lining. So if you have a separate lining, you just join everything together or you are working with a facing. What you just want is that all of these open parts, because this part is going to be open, you want them to be clean. And also on my shoulder area, I'm going to go ahead and sew my that on my that area for the back. Sorry okay so i have gone ahead to sew it as you can see i've joined them together and i have my lining as well so what i'm going to do first now is to lay the um, lining against the main bodies like this and then i'll make sure to sew this part that is going to show this neckline part you don't have to sew this center front because of the pockets are going to add you don't have to sew the remaining part of the neckline as well remember we are still going to fix a collar there as well so if you are not going to fix a sleeve to this you can close the armhole area as well and then you just sew the parts that you are sure that it's going to be feasible so i'll go ahead and join it now i will turn it then after turning it i will come back and work on the placket so i have sewn it now you can see i have turned my neckline that's why i said you can also use a facing to do this so now you're going to flip it to the right side you can either join your shoulder the back shoulder to it before adding your placket or you had your placket first but you can see now that our neckline is clean so you make sure you give this a good press so that it can look neater and this is the other side as well so for the placket just like i explained you're going to measure what you have on your center front but whatever you're measuring you had the 5.75 
that we have cut out to it okay so now i'm going to measure what i have in front if this were to be a dress remember you're going to be measuring from your hem whatever length your dress is or wherever it is you want the plaquettes to stop that's why you're going to measure it from but i'm measuring mine from my waistline because that is what i have on this table right now so here i'm measuring from my waist now i have about nine inches 9.75 so you had that or you just suspend that part that 5.75 okay remember that's what's going to be it's going to be around here so you suspend that part and then you continue your measurement so all together i have about 15 inches so i have got a fabric okay this fabric is about <coughs> excuse me it's about three inches and then by the time i fold it i'll have 1.5 and then i'm going to fold half an inch on both sides and then i'm going to be left with one inch so you're going to cut that by the 15 inches that you have measured for your placket so if i have excess i'm just going to cut it off i just need 15 inches so i'll start sewing from this hem here now i'll just suspend this in between that's why i had i left allowance when i drop when i cut it out on my pattern so here i'm going to sew my placket like this on both sides and then i'm going to add the 5.75 and bring it back to show us so now the placket is sewn i can see this is how it's going to lap on each other and we have exactly 15 inches here just like we measured okay you can see what we have so now the next thing is for you to join the shoulder together to connect the front and back then after this we're going to place our <coughs> excuse me after this you're going to place the collar around the neckline so now the shoulder is joined you can see now this is our shoulder this is the back and this is the front so this is the small neckline that we have for the front and then we have the placket for the front so it's not easy for you to take your color measurement to control the neckline now you can see that everything is open that's why i said you should do that while you are still why you still have your patterns together and then remember i measured mine and i had 20 inches including my placket allowance so i'm gonna have to draft a collar and the hem of this collar is the 20 inches that i marked so you can see i have 20 inches here so what i'm going to do now is to go ahead and sew this around my neckline if you don't know how to draft a standard collar, I have the simplest tutorial on it already on the channel. If you have watched that tutorial, you agree with me that it's very simple and easy to understand. So please, you can just check that out. So now to fix it, you just need to note your center back. And you do that by folding the collar into two. So once you fold it into two, you get your center back. And then you match, you, you match your shoulder together to get the center back of your main bodies as well so now to assist you you are going to match the center back of your collar against the center back of your main bodies and then from there you start pinning it towards the left and then to the right as well so now i have my center back so what i'm doing i already folded in my seam allowances so i'm just suspending my collar in between i'm suspending my bodies in between the collar like this and then i'll pin it so you can see now that i have pinned the center back you can see my chalk i just chalk this so that i can note it so from there now you start pinning towards the front okay you arrange it and pin just the neckline area and then here you are going to insert your your placket so you can see now the opening that we have here and then we'll sew everything together and then you do the same thing for the other side as well and then you sew i've printed it all around you can see what it looks like on the inside you can see how clean it is and this is what it looks like on the other side as well so i'll go ahead and sew it and then i'm going to join my side seam as well so the color is sewn now as you can see you can see that it is neatly installed okay this is the front and this is the back and this is the other front and then i've gone ahead to sew the side seam as well so you can see these are my side seam so this is the wrong side of the fabric and this is the right side so now all you just need to do now is to open a button placket a button hole on one side and then you fix buttons to the other side and then you fix your buttons to it just like this you can see what this is looking like so you can just go ahead to pad this with your 
bra cup, your wedding or your bra foam or your ready-made bra cup, depending on the choice that you decide to go for. So now I'll take this to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like on the mannequin. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the mannequin. You can see our collar is well attached. This is the cutout or keyhole that we have in front. And this is the sweetest neckline that we created. And this is our bustier cut. You can see that the placket is well laid as well. And the collar is just continuous all the way to the back. And like I mentioned, the back does not have any zipper. So it's just a regular shirt but with bustier pattern and also cut out on the neckline area you can see how beautiful and gorgeous this is looking i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel follow us on all our social media and this as library trace and i will see you in the next one bye